All right, my last road trip. I mean, hi, my name's Loba Leluna. Loba Bruja de la Luna, to be exact. Um, I'm at Wasteland Weekend. It's my second time ever. It's been six years since I've been here. I don't know if this is their first one since COVID or if they did it in 2021. I think they did do it in 2021. But um, my first, second time ever being at this event and um, I'm really excited. And I just, I've decided in this moment, let's make some videos because I had some fun doing this for my um, road trip. So let's just shoot some random shit and to see what we can come up with. Um, I uh, am super tired. Um, I left my home like six hours after I had hoped to be on the road. But granted, I did not load my vehicle the night before so that I could just immediately leave right after getting my hair cut. What do you think? What do you think? First ever skin fade. I don't know how the back looks, but we're growing out a little bit of the back. So there's a little bit of bits, but nice and short. My hairdresser was like, sunblock your scalp. And I was like, oh, thanks for that reminder. Cause I've, this part of my body has never seen the sun. So um, it's gonna be a hundred degrees out here uh, the, every day, 90, 98, I don't know. It's gonna be hot, hot during the day. It is right now uh, 1155 PM. I just got in about 10 minutes ago. I found a place to park my van. I'm stoked. It's level. Feels great. I'm and 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 like okay, I was driving around the perimeter like they have roads and I'm looking for like a camping place somewhere within this block because it's called Hades and it was supposed to be where all the fire spinners are. Found out when I got here that they're not doing any fire spinning this year because they didn't have someone to lead that department, so that's a bummer. So that makes me sad that I'm not gonna be able to fire perform, but maybe I will find someone who knows someone who knows someone who will be able to put me in touch with the stage director and I can let them know that I spin fire and I'd be happy to spin on stage even for without having gotten a comp ticket for being a performer. Um, and maybe I'll get to spin fire on stage. Woo, wish me luck. You're gonna see this after this event's over. So I don't know why I'm saying that, but give me your good energies. Even if you're in the future watching this, just send me good energy, right? that I successfully found a, an opportunity to spin fire. I'd love to spin fire at a thing like this, dressed like a fucking wasteland post-apocalyptic badass. But if I don't do any fire spinning, that's okay, because then I don't have to schlep my fire spinning tools and fuel all over the place, because that's a lot of crap to carry, and I'm about to be wearing a bunch of armor, so that's a lot to carry. And anyway, um, as much as I would like to just like go to bed, <laughs> A, that's what my body would like. My brain wants to go walk around this fucking event and take a loop and check it out. But the responsible adult in me and the radically self-reliant burner in me says, set up your camp, get your ground cover put down, get your table outside, Put your chair out there so someone doesn't camp in that spot that you want to use for your ground cover table and chair and lock up your bike figure out a way to lock the bike to the van or something my girlfriend sarah starship shout out let me borrow her mad max black electric bike so i am going to cruise around this mofo tomorrow and scope it all out and i am so excited um but yeah, I mean, this event started at 7 a.m. today, but I didn't get here till midnight. But you know what? I'm one of those people who, if I haven't left for the event by noon, I like to wait until after 3, 4, 5 p.m. because I just hate being in stop and go traffic. And if I would have left at like 3.30 or 4, I would have been in like, it would have taken me five hours to get here. And by waiting until six, that gave me more time to prep food, more time to set up my cat sitter, who's looking after my place and my child with whatever he needs, more time to, you know, dial everything in nice and ship shape, more time to uh, pay a couple bills and handle a couple phone calls before I left. And when I did finally leave, three and a half hours. So the, the amount of time that it took me to drive here took me the same amount of time 
at 6 p.m. as it would have taken me at like noon or at like 7 a.m. But had I left at four or five, it would have taken over an hour longer. So I don't regret how I did it, but um, maybe I'll, you know, love this so much that I'll want to do it next year for the full five days. Like I realize, I mean, this is only, only a 3,000 person event. So that's on the smaller side as festivals go, you know, lightning in a bottle, EDC, Coachella, shit like that. We're talking tens of thousands, six, five, seven, eight, nine, up to 10,000, you know, like huge numbers. Burning Man, we're talking 70,000. And I recently read an article that might be full of shit that said 80,000. So in comparison to Burning Man, 70,000 people, a 3,000 person event is like a quaint little party. However, this is still a fucking shitload of people. And so it's a, you know, there's a lot of ground to cover and I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to run into any of the people I know. Um, so I'll just keep an eye out for them and hope that they recognize my colorful hair and we touch base at some point, that'd be great. I'm stoked to have a bike so that I can run around and um, find people as well. Like look at, you know, search for things. Um, but yeah, so I'm not attached to how it's gonna look or who I'm gonna hang out with. I don't give a fuck. However, I did find, I was like driving around this perimeter of this, this block of, you know, the map and I'm driving around in a block, a circle and I'm trying to figure out where I am. And I'm seeing that it's like everybody, it, like there's tents and RVs and camps and all these little, all these little theme camps. But I noticed that behind the row of cars and tents, like b back behind this like perimeter edge, there's like a lot of open camping space but it's just not right next to the road. And I was like, dude, that looks open over there. And I see a little opening and I'm like, I think I can fit the van through there. And I turn left and right, right next to where I turned left, I'm like, what landmark can I take note of so that I can find my way back here in the dark? I have a headlamp, come on now. But still, how the hell am I gonna figure out where my camp is? There's a bar 20 feet away from me that says Rat Pack, the Rat Pack. And if that's the people I think it is, those are some burners and some of them are or were friends of mine. So who knows, might be a completely different Rat Pack, but I have a marker, you know, I have a, what's that called? I have a point of reference, visual point of reference to find my spot. I also took the time to zoom in on the map screenshot that I took because they don't hand out maps, unfortunately. Get your shit together, Wasteland. Um, I zoomed in on the photo I took of the map and I marked an X, or actually I put a van emoji where my van is, and I marked an X where the main gates are. So I gotta, yeah, I gotta put some cool shit on and look extra cool before I go walk around this shit. And, uh, oh yeah, I need to lock up my bike and set up my my camp first. Luckily, when you arrive at an event in a van, you already have your camp. So all you need to do is get whatever's in your way out of your way and maybe put something on the floor outside of the van. But everything else you got, it's already with you. It's so lovely. But, um, oh yeah, it's gonna be hot as balls during the day. So um, I'm looking forward to these warm nights. It's probably like 75 degrees right now and it's in the middle of the night. So, Let's go fucking wasteland. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, wasteland. All right, y'all, see you soon.